Question 4. In this question, use a ruler and a pair of compasses. The following figure shows a circle, center O, a tangent to the circle at P is drawn. Construct another tangent to the circle to intersect the drawn tangent at an angle of 60 degrees. Now the first thing you can do is just to draw a sketch of what is expected. So we'll just draw a sketch. You're required to draw another tangent. Uh, just to scale, this is just a sketch, another tangent like that. And that tangent will intersect the other tangent at 60 degrees. One property that you're supposed to understand is that tangents to a circle from a common external point are equal. So these tangents, let me call this point M, tangent MP is equals to tangent, let me call this point N, MN. So these two are equal. Another thing, if you draw uh, this, um, you draw this, that's a, a radius, that is the radius, and that is the radius. If you draw another line from the vertex, the center, that line will bisect this angle into two. This is a property. That line to the center will bisect this angle, 60 degrees, and you will have 30, 30. Another important property that is going to help you is the tangent radius property. Remember, the tangent is perpendicular to the radius. So this angle here is 90 degrees. And this one is also 90 degrees. This point where the tangent and the radius are meeting should be a right angle. Having known that, you'll be able to have an idea of how you're going to construct that tangent. Since this is 90 degrees, consider triangle PMO. The sum of angles should be 180. So 90 plus 30, that will be 120. So this angle that is here should be 60 degrees. Also, this one should be 60 degrees. That means if I'm able to construct this angle here at the center, 60 degrees, I'll automatically be able now to draw the tangent MN. So I'll need to construct 60 degrees here. So let me clear everything now and draw everything accurately. So we'll begin by joining point P like that, point P to center O like that. Then at O, need to construct 60 degrees. So stand with your pair of compass at O, then this is how you construct 60 degrees at that point. So open any radius. So you'll mark an arc, mark an arc like that. Then use the same, same radius without changing anything. Without changing anything, stand at this point. And at that arc. So that is how we construct 60 degrees. Then using a ruler, straight line, join point O. Join point O like that. The point of intersection of the two arcs like that. So that angle will be 60 degrees. So this angle here, this angle is 60 degrees. And this one is 90. And this angle here will be 30 degrees. Now, since we said, uh, so this is the meeting point, 
we can call this a point M, that is the meeting point. So from there, we simply need to take that distance, that length of uh, that tangent. So let me take the length of tangent MP. Take that length. And then, using that length, I will simply stand at M, that length. And then, mark an arc because we said tangents from to a circle from a common external point are equal so just mark that point and then you just need to draw a straight line from this point here from m to this point you've made an arc there So from there, we just draw a tangent like that. And that is how you go about that. If you join this point O to that uh, point of contact, you'll have this one as 90 degrees and you'll have this one as 30 degrees. So you can see we have achieved the objective. We have constructed another tangent. The tangent is MN to intersect the drone tangent at M there at an angle of 60 degrees. The angle there is 30, 30, that is 60 degrees. So that is how you're supposed to work out that.